Jane. Look at this one. We can't live like this anymore. And we're going to figure out how you can stick your neck out in a way that actually saves our species from self-extincting. You know, it's right there. And I'm going to ask you to do something. Well, it's not my words, but there's no, no, no stakes in you calling strangers, calling on the phone. You don't need to prepare all that much, really. Well, we can talk about it. We can have fun doing it. We can create a little performance if you want. Love you, Z. But I need you to call Esalen. The very little bit that you can do is get me a direct email phone number of, I think it's the director of um, learning programming. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. We, you, we don't even know who, who's there. Who's, we want somebody who's on campus. Because I then I from what I understand, um, the president and vice president, which are a husband and wife, um, they live in Santa Cruz. So you know, it, it's actually a hardship. I mean, it's heaven on earth down there, but it's fifty miles from civilization. My dog. Yes, Sandy. So, get me some data, right? I'm not good at talking on the phone, and you understand why. Um, overnight, this is this is this is an interesting thing. Um, Rockmon, imagine if all of a sudden. He wanted to start playing a saxophone, but he's got his hands on the drums and, you know, his feet are down there and keeping rhythm too and the cymbals and think, think, think about a whole drum kit. Think about all of the, keeping the rhythm, but all of a sudden what his soul wants him to do is to also make horn sounds. How, how is he going to do it? Like that's sort of the complexity of like, this is all here for me. And how it just comes through this one, it doesn't, is I need the full embodiment. I need the stage. I need to prowl a stage like the stand-up comics do. I, <laughs> is, and it's, again, it's um, my instrument in this 18 months of imprisonment. I'm really in pain. go to Esalen, they start filming me, my body is going to transform before their eyes. This is a documentary. Just, just, just in and of itself, what, what I can physically show. But then when we start talking about, and this is, this is just your little thing, is for you to create an intro as best as possible, and you don't need to get my approval. Don't share it with me. Because the thing is, is all I ever do is the improv, both and plus. I don't mean it. It's coming off to people who, in who I'm trying to communicate with as um, overwhelming. Because I just don't stop. This is not a flaw. It's a flaw in plantation capitalism, sweetie pie. Yeah, I know. But you're gonna come here. You're gonna keep coming here. I you need to do my work. You can't. I'm imprisoned in this car. I can't talk on the phone in the library. Um, I mean, I could. Some people do. But the kind of things I say, I have to um, bribe her because she has fleas. I haven't been asleep last night because there's some mosquito and it buses. It's forget why. 
waterboarding. So I have to pull up my hood, I have to put on my hat, and then I don't get sleep. By the way, there's the library. And behind those trees, that's, that's the center, and the park is over there. So, there's, there's the ocean. You know, again, is um, I'm my own gaffer, I'm, I'm the cinematographer, I'm the, when there's just a few more people in my life, it's taken off like a rocket ship. So, you know, real, really think about, and I've never actually talked to Rockman, but I think about Joseph. The brilliance that comes through the ditch and his percussion and the flutes and who he is when he's talking. Nobody, and, I, and I'm going to include you in this, and it's not a judgment or anything. It, it's simply this complexity of it all. I'm making art. Stand-up philosophy is art. And people keep telling me what to do in an art form that I'm the creator of, the inventor of. <laughs> so anyway, I think, I think this Rachman analogy is really good. Is, is he's about the rhythm, but it's also like, how, what, how does he create the melody of a horn? And how does he create, um, you know, the rest of the musical composition? Given the limitations of having two hands and two feet and one mouth, and, right? You know, it's it's when I'm in my subconscious, which is just about all the time. Even though I I learned to sort of port it down and and go back to the extent that I can into linear thinking to try to communicate. My instrument of consciousness is always broadcasting symphonies. Not notes, not lyrics, the whole entire thing. The strength that keeps taking me to say, no, we want me as I am. And everyone keeps trying to change me. We didn't, again, talk about... <sighs> the denouement is, that even with all of the complexity, and I'll just keep going back and she'll get used to me. See, what has to happen is, 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 is you know, people come and trust me and they see me as a normal person, and I'm... The, the full subconscious and that's really discombobulating to people and then I come back and I'm just as normal and now she'll watch and now she'll see I'm not being predatory to any of the old people not, not nobody no you know I'm, I'm doing the best I can but I literally I had no food for Zanzi The thing that she did, and I, you can't see it back there, but supply chain issues. I can't buy the small bag. They only have the 25 pound bag, which if you'd like to look at my Venmo, costs $102 and some cents. I had to go in there with quarters. To say, I'd put a hundred dollars on the card and let me count out the rest of this change just to keep my dog alive. What am I eating? Water. And I have to keep feeding her, which this is how, none because of the fleas. 
because I can't use chemicals. I can't put chemicals in this small place. We never do it before, and we're both autistic. The upshot, though, of talking to the executive director of the center and the executive director of the library, people are looking to get me somebody to Esalen, but we can't just, I can't keep relying on it. It's, I need to be there. 1010. I want to drive down there that Monday morning. What she said, even with all the discombobulation, was she could get me to Esalen. I think she means she'll give me $50 for gas, but I'm pretty sure I can also extend that to she'd buy me the day pass, which is $374. Now what that takes is I need to, for day pass it, I need somebody to watch Zanzi. Don't have that person. Or I'll take her with me and just be like, I'm not leaving. You know, that's not how I want to do these things. I'm, I'm trying to play by the rules as much as possible and endure what the civilization makes us endure because that's how things get changed. When you see precisely how somebody with as great intentions and as intelligent. And if you, the system is what the system is, that's what the system is. And it kills humans. So what I'm saying is, if you can do some recognizance for me and get on the phone and say, you are what you are, my long-term investor and you now are ready to say it's time for me to become the well-being philosopher in residence at Esalen. You know, there's there's more at stake with somebody you know and, and the things and, and all those kinds of things. There's no stakes there. You're gonna call, you're gonna get, you're gonna find out who's living there, who's the, the top decision makers. You know, you're gonna portray yourself as my investor, as the person who wants to see me bring my human potential to every nook and cranny of the globe, and that you know that I'm the kind that will want to partner in win 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 strategic collaborations. Esalen needs me just a little bit more than I need them and I need them to stay alive because of both you know the blessings of their place but it's also a curse they can't help they can't be part of the conversation to change racism without me and human potential doesn't go anywhere, which is what they've proven over the 50-some years of that institution. It's only for rich white people. Rich, rich, rich white people. This is the problem. This is the problem. We have hit a place where the only humans benefiting from technology, from medicine... I worked at Genentech. When I left, which was 2010, it was huge debates because they developed a medicine that they were charged $98,000 a month for a pill to give people with end-stage cancer three more months to live. Genentech was charging $300,000 to give somebody three more months. The breadth and depth of the premises of the downfall of the US of hypocrisy empire. Got all the data. So parsing through the data and be, 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 be tiny. We want me to be immense. The only way I stay alive is if I'm immense, right? I, I cannot go back. So it's to get me to Esalen. 
and I need, you know, five people simultaneously coming at this from all the angles. I can't do it myself. I can get to Esalen and perform. But the more that my body has to go through, the more that when I get there, I'm going to collapse. So we can't, it's, it's no longer, the time is right now. Monday, 10, 10, 22. I need to drive down there and spend the rest of this winter. They have, they train people to do the workshops. They have residencies. Even if for some reason, the one person who can make the decision isn't quite sure about me. Like I said, they, they I'll go in the kitchen. Right? I'm do what it takes. But what I can't do is because they have a gate, and because I have to prove myself to that gate person, I need somebody, I need the gate open. And then I, I, I'm being a little stubborn. I mean, they're 50 miles down there. You can call the police on me. But I can't. This is this this is this is me, right? You know, this has gone on so long. Uh, let me finish up. But I can't harm the human who works at the gate. It's not their job to make these decisions, and they have to make their decisions on me in a few minutes. This is all the problem is. I need humans who will give me days, a long weekend. And that's pretty much what happens in job interviews. You know, this person, this person, this person. You know, you get hours. People assess you for hours. In my position, everyone's judging me in seconds. That's the problem. That I'm basically... keeps me on the verge of dying nobody will give me enough time there we go that's all the time i have to keep it under 18 minutes just call do some recognizance say you're my investor say everything the truth you say it exactly as you want but that's the truth and it's now time for me to hit the different level the next level to be with more and more people who are interested in human potential and then to explore where the best possible outcome is they can rent an RV and put Esalen on the road. I'll go straight to Oakland, straight to the worst parts of the Bay Area in the parlance of this culture and show the human potential in those humans. They need me more than I need them. Harmony. <laughs>